Hey guys, this poster right here has been circulating the internet from none other than Toys R Us. Um, as you can see, it features Saw Gerrera, and it's a preview of what's to come in Season 3 of Star Wars Rebels. And among other things, it features Saw Gerrera, but it also has Geonosis, droids, uh, Sabine, jetpacking with clone troopers? Um, so yeah, I was asked to speculate on this, and so I'm going to do that and analyze this poster one little bit at a time. Wow, so there's a lot to analyze as you can see. First off, the first episode after the winter break is a two-part hour-long episode called Ghosts of Geonosis. Um, basically, the ghost crew is going to investigate a team of missing rebels on the planet who reported suspicious activity. And I don't think there's really ghosts. Just, just throwing that out there. Spoiler alert. Pretty sure it's not ghosts. So, my guess for this episode is kind of basically, um, obviously they stumble upon some working droids or maybe not working and somehow they get working again but this maybe they stumble on something that links to Saw Gerrera and Jita from the Clone Wars or maybe Saw himself is investigating the Empire on Geonosis because if you remember I mean the original Death Star plan concepts were technically there on Geonosis before being transferred to Count Dooku but while on Geonosis they obviously run into the droids and somehow clone troopers that's still weird for me uh, honestly have no clue where that one's going but most likely the clones won't be staying around for much of a long part because there weren't too many clones in the rebel alliance and if there were helmets would definitely have to be taken off these clone troopers are in full armor i'm wondering if they're gonna be old like rex or like what's the story with that maybe they're still baby clones or something um now as far as saw guerrero's role in season three most likely rebels will have to answer questions from rogue one like how did he get all beaten up and need a breathing apparatus and what happened to his legs it does seem like he'll already have had his falling out with the rebel alliance though obviously from the rumors that he will have his base on Jeda and you know them saying that he'll already have his falling out with the rebel alliance um we know from Rogue One that he is an extremist, uh, as we saw what he did to the Imperial pilot on in Rogue One. He's definitely a little bit crazy, uh, wondering if that's going to carry over to the animated TV show or if something uh, in Rebels is going to explain how he got that way. My guess was that he was just so war-torn over time, but maybe Rebels will have a better explanation that is more instantaneous uh, that something extreme happened to him right before the events of Rogue One. But yeah, it's weird that the Alliance doesn't accept his extremism because, you know, the Alliance isn't terrorists or anything now. They, they just go blowing up the Empire stuff, but they're not terrorists. They just killed, you know, a, a million stormtroopers on the Death Star, but it, it's cool. They support terrorism, but only to an extent. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping they throw in a few references to Jin and Galen, uh, though it would definitely most likely have to be uh, really just quick word throws around like uh, Ben Kenobi was in Rogue One. It's just going to be word references, obviously, because Jin would no longer be in Saw Gerrera's uh, custody because he said that when she was younger is when he left her and uh, left her and she went off on her own. Um, it would still be cool, though, uh, to have that. And honestly, Chura Inwe and Baze Malbus would more likely be actual cameos, especially if they go to Jida in one of these episodes, uh, since they reside there and the temple is there and everything that they guard. Um, I mean, they're well-known characters, obviously, on Jida because they're the, they're, they're the protectors of the temple. So let's be honest here, Ezra's going to want to see the Kyber Crystal Temple, and most likely they have to feature that if they go to Jida. So... Hopefully they run into the pair while doing so, even if they're just doing their little act on the street, not doing any fighting. But it'd still be cool to see those Rogue One cameos. The potential tie into the Rogue One movies is awesome. Uh, more cameos is always good. I was excited from the Rogue One cameos, and this would be no different in Rebels if they decide to have a few cameos in there from Rogue One. It would only make sense. Um, but as far as villains go for this little... Uh, Jida Geonosis thing. I don't really see director Krennic obviously being a main villain in this um, That that's just common sense So I think if anybody's gonna be the recurring villain in this episode, it would be Thrawn uh, there's only there's not that much longer left of season three and I feel like Thrawn definitely needs more of a role as a main antagonist or even a supporting antagonist. I feel like he hasn't been uh, enough in this series yet. So maybe they could have some type of big showdown with Thrawn and maybe Thrawn can make his, his big final 
uh, appearance of the season before they get to the mall seg- uh, the mall saga with Obi Wan on Tatooine. So um, Thrawn would definitely be de- be cool enough, and it would make sense. You know, they're. Thrawn would be the prime choice to take out rebel extremists on a planet where they need the resources to uh, power the Death Star. So honestly, that would make the most sense if Thrawn were to be the main antagonist for anything Jedi related. Most likely we'll get to see Saul Guerrero in action because he hasn't been injured yet uh, as he was in Rogue One. So um, hopefully it will show what happened to him between then. Season three of Rebels only takes place a few years before A New Hope. when Rebels first started, it was five years before A New Hope, so most likely it's about two years before A New Hope. So, uh, Sadly, that also does mean, on a side note, that Rebels is probably coming to an end sometime soon. Uh, the creative director did say that when they made Rebels, they did have an end game because they had to have an end game for this because it ties into the movie so much. So obviously Rebels is going to end and they have said that it won't be something that they keep going on and on and on for it does have an end game in mind already about what happens to the ghost crew and everything but obviously we find out harrison doula is still alive and well within the rebel alliance uh in rogue one so that part's cool and we already know what's gonna happen to ezra and kanan i don't need to tell you guys um <laughs> but as far as uh saw guerrera basically fighting and telling what's gonna happen to him and how exactly you know it ties into rogue one most assuredly those two points are definitely what i can almost guarantee to you guys is going to happen anything else is pretty much random because we have nothing to go off of at this point besides the poster um so we only really know what we're going to see and we can only speculate very broadly on what's going to happen uh, as far as everything else i'm honestly more interested in the clone troopers and sabine discovering her heritage if that's meant to be in the season Um, Also, we still haven't seen Ahsoka, and it was said that she would make an appearance this season. Um, Although I hope that appearance is around Maul and Ben Kenobi, that would be a pretty cool reunion for her uh, to meet Obi-Wan again. Um, I don't know if she'll appear with Saw, because that would also make sense too. Uh, Either way, the rest of the season has the potential to be great, and if we've learned anything from this and the last season, it's that Rebels likes to put their best episodes at the beginning of the season and then at the end, and filling the entire middle of the whole whole season with stupid fluff that has no impact on anything at all. I hate it. I just wish it would change. I hope it changes before Rebels eventually ends. Uh, But that's my speculation on the Toys R Us poster. Honestly, like I said, there's not too much to go off of, but the couple things I gave you guys I'm pretty sure are going to happen. Either way, we'll find out January 7th and you can expect a Rebels recap on it um, and hear my thoughts on it. It'll probably be a really good one because it's definitely not going to be a filler episode most likely. Uh, also, I'm kind of curious who's going to voice Saw. Is it going to be Force Whitaker or is it going to be the voice from the Clone Wars? That'll be interesting. Um, at the time I'm rewriting this, it's unknown. So I don't know if it's going to come out before I post this. Hopefully not, because then it'll look weird. Uh, but make sure you guys check out the other content right here on the screen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter or Facebook or both. And I'll see you guys next time.